what is one of the stronger communities of Muslims in Tokyo? Uh, in Tokyo, uh, there is the uh, masjid called Tokyo Jami. Uh, Jami means masjid in Turkey uh, in Turkish language. Uh, like it is like you know, I, I don't think it's directly run by the Turkish religious affairs, but still like closely associated with the Turkish ministry mm -hmm. of the religious affairs in Turkey. Uh, uh, is and uh, like Turkish imam is he's really sincere and also uh, uh, you know, and now this Tokyo Jami is not only famous as like a masjid. Uh, it became like one of the most like popular like a tourist like a place in, in Tokyo right now. Yeah. So they, every week. I think more than hundreds, you know, hundreds of people are visiting Tokyo Jami, and every week, uh, and almost every week, there is the um the ceremony of the conversion. Like the so Japanese are converting Islam in Tokyo Jami. So if you go to the Tokyo Jami, that you can see the big communities. And what is more beautiful about this Tokyo Jami is that the, if you visit Tokyo Jami, that you can meet like lots of your second generation Muslims, mm. like second generation like Japanese Muslims. Like for example, I'm from you know the, the so, so the, the Japanese Japanese. But uh, right now we have like Pakistani, like uh, Pakistani, like Japanese Muslims, mm. uh, like Indonesian Japanese Muslims, or like Indonesian who was born and raised in Japan, mm. uh, or the or the Malay Japanese Muslims, or or the uh, Palestinian like Japanese Muslims, or the Egyptian Japanese Muslims. I mean, like they, uh, uh, like they are like creating uh, like new generations, like like they are like future of the you know, Japanese communities because right now you know uh, in, in general. Uh, the population is like declining in Japan. That we are not getting married, and we are not having babies. Uh, but I think the only like Muslim community is like growing. For example, I was a Christian before I become Muslims. Yeah. Uh, but I think the average age of the Christian community in Japan is like over sixty-five years old. Mm. Like it's like it's becoming the old communities. Like it's only becoming like a religion for the I don't know the. Uh, 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 like a curing house or something, but the uh, I I don't believe that in the, the Muslim community is the is the fastest like growing community in Japan. But still, I can say that the Muslim community in Japan is like youngest like in religious community in Japan. And, and I, I think read very really beautiful things. I read recently you could buy a house in some of the suburbs for twenty five thousand mm -hmm. dollars because the population is just dropping so badly. Ah uh, yes, like the I think many like the Japanese like youth are like uh, moving to like big big cities. Yeah. And uh, now like many like in you know, the villages, you know, small small towns are becoming like a ghost town in Japan. That's insane. The idea that some maternity wards have shut down, mm -hmm. and sent their nurses to a central maternity ward, mm -hmm. right? Because there are no there there was one hospital they they recorded that there was on average a birth a week. Mm -hmm. So they're like, what, what's, how do, why, why do we have a ward, right? So they combined four hospitals. They all went to the biggest ward, right? Mm -hmm. And everyone who wants to have a baby in Tokyo or, or, or in this town would just mm -hmm. go to that ward, mm -hmm. right? With that hospital, you might have to drive a little bit, but that's the only one you have, to, you can go to. So it's insane how that population is dipping so badly in Japan. I think that that's probably its biggest crisis going forward, right? No, uh, yes, I think population this is, decline. Yeah, this is a humanity like crisis. So this is why yeah. I'm saying, like, you know, for Japanese, like, uh, they don't have to understand Islam. They first they have to understand what kind of problem they are facing in Japanese communities. Yeah, and yeah. then uh, we uh, we Japanese can say that Islam can be like a uh, like a life giving like force yeah. or life giving energy for the Japanese societies. That in terms of like a cultures, in terms of societies, and in yeah. terms of like politics. Like, this is what I keep saying. Yeah. And it's amazing how humans problem has gone back down to like the most basic problem of just yes. existing. Right. And it's almost like we gouged ourselves with selfishness. I mean, the, the science and tech did so well to give people a good life in certain countries that mm -hmm. people can't stand the idea of directing attention to others. I mean, we have now the concept of dinks, right? You know what a dink is or yeah. You guys know what a dink is? Dual income, no kids, boyfriend and a girlfriend, right? Both have a, they got a dual income and they've decided no kids, right? So that they could just do whatever they want. And so the cultures you become, you, you, you're, you're uh, indulging to the point that you cannot even share your time. It pains you to share your time with a kid. And you still have a problem if you have one kid, 
two kids, you still have a problem because you're not growing at that point. And what is it that made Japan, you know, be is really Japan is one of the leaders in population decline. What's the, what's the source? What's the reason? I think the same reason in America, I think. So they, yeah. they will think that this is just having baby. It's just like, in the, they're, they're, basically, they are losing their money. Yeah. And so they, they have to enjoy life. And they think, you know, they are, they are like babies of children. So they get obstacles for, for their happiness. Yeah. But in the end, you know, the ultimate aim of the humanity is like, you know, that we, uh, why we're living right now to pass, uh, to, uh, to transmit, you know, knowledge of the Prophet Muhammad, something like that, Salam, to the next generation. You know, we are just like a vehicle. Yeah. Like, if we don't make, uh, if we don't, uh, we cannot get married, if we don't make like children, or like if we are not investing on the younger generation, yeah. then, then the, our community you know, will disappear. You'll disappear. And yeah. I like to put it like this. You're, you, you have your own life. Mm -hmm. You only have your own life thanks to other people who are not selfish. Mm -hmm. So there is a percentage. I don't know what the percentage is. One third, maybe one quarter, one half, uh, where you owe, you owe it to the community. Okay. At large mm -hmm. to think about the future, to advance this, this thing called human beings and Muslims on top of that. And the way to do that is by prioritizing your family over your career. Nobody says, I, hey, well, some of the dinks do. But <laughs> most people say, most people say, uh, well, I got in my career. It's so important. I help so many people in my career, right? Very few people say, no, I don't want to have kids because I want to indulge. Most people will justify it to themselves. And they'll say, I got a very important career. I got a very important year coming up. And they keep postponing marriage. So careerism, the way I look at it, it's the biggest enemy to family is careerism. Like, you don't, can't imagine what I would have done. All of us can say the same thing. What would I have done if I didn't have to uh, have a family and I could work 12 hours a day, seven days a week? What kind of career would we all have? Yeah, but you'd also be very miserable too, right? And what kind of old age would you have? What kind of middle of life would you have, right? So we don't think about that. On top of that, we don't, that's all about ourselves. Imagine then the whole community. If we all did that, what kind of community would we have? We'd have empty misogyny, right? We'd have no community left. So everyone's got to realize that career is the enemy of family. And I, the way I look at it, both guy, men and women have to take that, but women have to take it even more, right? Because they're the physical bearers of the children and they have a bigger obstacle. So they have to have a greater belief that having a family is more important than having a career. The guys have to have that because when they don't raise their kids, their kids turn out rotten. You might, you might as well have had not have kids. If a guy doesn't raise his son, more important than raising his daughter, in my opinion.